Hello and welcome to Comment Comeback, the show where I go back to one of my older videos and highlight some of the more interesting comments. This time I'm going back to the Pokemon video, a video I forgot I even made, but isn't it surprising that so many 10 year olds get so mad over something so stupid? Wait, no, not really, not at all. You suck. Normally I wouldn't, well actually I do feature comments like this all the time, but with this one in particular I thought it was funny because of the replies. Someone replied to them saying, simply, why, as in why does it suck? And they, and this person replied with, I don't know. What, why did you comment then? How dare you? Or it's more like, how dare you? Or is it more like, how dare you? Or it looks, I don't know, it could be, how, how dare you? How dare, no it's not a question mark, how dare you? How dare you? Probably more like that, isn't it? I don't know. I dared. What's the fucking problem? They didn't even specify what I'm daring here. Is it? How dare you be a human? How dare you be alive? How dare you make a video about a thing that I like? How dare you breathe oxygen? How dare you make this stupid comment that makes no sense? You just ruined my fucking childhood. See, I I really hate it when people say this sort of thing, right? Oh, the new Ninja Turtles movies ruined my childhood. Fuck off. No, it hasn't. Uh, your childhood's a thing of the past, unless you're still in it, which I'm sure most of these people who are commenting on this probably are still in their childhood, so I guess it doesn't make sense for them. But for the majority, when people say it, it's like, no, your childhood's in the past. It's a thing that's already happened. Just because a new thing is, is 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 there and talking about it or reinventing it, it doesn't, it doesn't somehow tarnish the old thing. Unless it's the Star Wars prequels. Those can fuck off. I hate you. You know, it may be weird to say this, but I've never heard this comment before. Never. It's the rarest, just, I've never heard it before. I wonder if they're a Pokemon fan. I wonder. This is one of my, probably my favourite comments of all time here. Fuck you, kiss my ass, and suck my dick. But that's not the end of it. That is not the end of it, because he felt like, like he missed something out there. So he added another com another comment saying, and eat shit. He felt like what he, he put in the first comment wasn't enough, and that he was missing... Something of import, something of value, so he had to go and comment again saying, and eat shit, just to add add that little bit on, that little extra nugget. You are a big, a big one, how to hate Pokemon. Pokemon is the most awesome things. The fuck does that mean? Really, what what the hell does that even mean? I'm, try, I'm trying to unpack this here. I, I suppose it's supposed to say, you're a, a bitch, a big one. How... How on earth do you hate Pokemon? Pokemon is the most awesome thing. It's not difficult to say that. I'm, that's not a very complex sentence. Fucking Christ. People who don't even understand English can put sentences together better than the- Do these people just not care? Do they not care or are they so young that they just don't even get it? They don't fucking get it because they're seven years old. Okay, fuck all your opinions. Pokemon is fucking awesome. So because I don't like a thing that you do, every single one of my opinions is... nothing to you? Why? That doesn't make any sense. I hate everything just fucked up. Why? Because I talked about something that people like? Pokemon? I mean, the video's still got way more likes to dislikes and way more views and stuff. Why do people comment things like this? I have no clue what this means. Oh my gosh. Or it's probably more like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You don't have to announce everything you hate, so shut up. Buh, stars. What? Are there any swear words that are three letters like that that begin with a B? Stop making YouTube videos, you suck. I love Pokemon. This, this doesn't make any sense. You don't have to announce everything you hate. You don't have to announce the fact that you hate the things that I hate on and make videos about. No one is forcing you to click on a video and watch it all the way through and, and hate it the entire time. Really, what is that? What is that B star star? What is that supposed to be? I, I assume bitch is, is the only thing it could be. But they're missing out the two stars. They, you don't, you don't think they start out the word bum. You hate shut up bum. No, shut up bum. Stop me. No, you have to be fucking six years old to do that. I don't even think six year olds would do that. Dude, in that first part of the video, you went too motherfucking far. Besides, in the game, it is not enslavement or stuff like that. You bond with all your Pokemon, and I choose Char, Charamander. And I love Pokemon. P.S. Voice of the people. What does what does going too far even mean? Everyone's got like that weird, their own weird personal scale of 
oh no, now you've gone too far. It's fine when you make fun of a thing that I don't like, but when it, when it, the wheel turns around to me and it makes fun of something that I that was in my childhood or, or I like, it's suddenly too far. How dare you? That offends my being. So many people got really upset for some reason because I I, I said that you enslave Pokemon in like a jokey way. Because that's like the way I say things and joke about things. Because when you really look at it, it is kind of people running around in the wilderness, capturing, or first beaten up and then capture, capturing innocent creatures and forcing them to fight for you. I mean, that's that's the observation I made. It's just silly. And judging by the little picture there, um, Kobe, I'm, I'm sure you really are the voice of the people. I'm sure you have a large following and you, you do represent everyone with your Charamander. You must be kidding. My Pokemon is awesome. It has TV shows, video games, cards, movies, and plushies. You get a bunch of excitement when you get good cards. So, so let me get this straight. This kitty's argument is that because it has a bunch of merchandise associated with it, it somehow gives it some kind of value. By that very same logic, any literally anything recognizable would is some would, would be awesome. Everything has a TV show. Everything that has a TV show has some spin-off video game cards, movies, and plushies. I remember I used to collect Pokemon cards, and I, I never really understood the game. It was really, like, weirdly complex or something. I just collected the cards and was like, oh, th uh, this is nice. Then I realized how stupid it was, and I just... I guess I just threw them all away or something. So Pokey Pierce moves on to say, the names are Japanese, for God's sake, you Pokemon hater. What do you, what do you mean? The, the people who made, made up the names are Japanese, yeah, but nothing about Ekans is particularly Japanese. In fact, it's the English for snake backwards. Yeah, Klefki sounds really Japanese, doesn't it? Why do you hate Pokemon? I'm trying to read it with, with the two question marks there and the explanation point in the middle. Crying face, let me, me, just, just go over here, cries in corner. Well, well, I'm pretty sure what that's why the video's there. Did, did you just click on the, on the video and just go straight to the comments and ask me why I hate it, even though the video's called I Hate Pokemon and it's like six minutes long of things that I don't like about Pokemon. I don't understand. This one isn't really, like, negative, but it's just kind of, what? Yes, I love this video. You barely have anything to hate. I'll admit the de designs can be terrible, and you haven't played newer generations, so you couldn't hate as much as regular. I respect your opinions, but oddly enough, I wanted to see the hate, and this is one of the first videos you couldn't put hate on. And I'm not like most Pokemon of Sonic, well, Nintendo, and Sega fanboys that will hate your video purely for disliking a series I like. This is one of your first videos you couldn't put hate on. You know, I wasn't as negative as maybe I could have been, but, I mean, I, I certainly was negative in there. It's pissed a lot of people off. I, I, I'm, I'm just, I, why did I even pick this comment? Like, it's not, it's not anything. It's just weirdly worded. If you're, if you're watching, Benjamin, just read your comments before you post them. If you don't want to watch the whole video, and trust me, you don't, I can sum it up for you. Pokemon is bad because I personally don't like it. You're welcome. What the hell was this guy expecting? The video is called I Hate Pokemon, not We Hate Pokemon, or You Should Hate Pokemon. Emphasis on I. Of course, I'm going to explain why I personally don't like it. There's shit like this that makes me never want to go into the comments. But they say just enough to piss you off, but they don't elaborate enough to, for it to mean anything either. You said Pokemon Fire Red was the high point. Ha! <laughs> what? I'm pretty sure my exact words were, The last Pokemon game I played all the way through was Fire Red, which was my personal highlight of the series. Or high point of the series, whatever. What fucking difference does it make? They're the same fucking game every time. Ooh, there are little differences here and there. Oh, fuck off. You know, it's the same thing as Call of Duty being the same every year, Forza being the same every year, Mario being the same every year. It's what people like, and they're gonna do the same thing every time with little changes here and there. It doesn't make a fucking scrap of difference. This one's, like, sad. Dude, why do you hate... Fucking put everything. I used to love waking up Saturday morning to watch Pokemon with my brother. That was the only bond we had. Not really sure how my fucking stupid video changes that even in the slightest. It's, it's going back to the you ruined my childhood thing. How? It doesn't somehow erase your memory. I don't force my way into your brain and carefully pick out every m nice memory you have of Pokemon. It's a fucking stupid video filled with stupid jokes and shit. I hate everything. If you're liking the thing you're reviewing, don't call it I hate Pokemon, and then people, poor Billy, won't rage at you, you, yo, you, no, what, the no matter if the title changes, they're just gonna rage anyway. This is a message to you seven and nine year olds. If you hate him, don't comment on the video, and just go on something you like. There are certain things, there are certain things, certain topics, that 
I have only made videos on because so many people asked me to do it and I just wanted to get out of the way. This was one of them. I don't really give a fuck about Pokemon. There, I said it. I, I don't care. I don't fucking care. I played it, it, it. The Pokemon time in my life has been and gone. It's not relevant to me in the slightest anymore. And I know it is for plenty of people. And I know pl plenty of people like it. There's, there's a reason they sell fucking millions of copies every year. Which me, And it doesn't make sense to me to just... Just, to just say that something is shit when there are good qualities to it. I did, I did mention things that I didn't like in the same way that I do with every other video I've made. I'm not gonna fucking pander and just lie about everything. If I do like a, th if I do like the, th the subject that I'm talking about, I'm gonna say it. I didn't even say I like. Th I said something along the lines of they're not bad games. They they just are what they are, sort of thing. And that's true. You are a total cynical asshole, bitch. Fuck you. Okay, so. So, just thinking about um, the word cynical there, none of the things I really say in the video are that cynical. I, I say that I don't like the way that they release two games every single time and they're pretty much the exact same game with a couple of changes. Uh, I don't think that's really cynical, I think that's kind of a widely accepted thing that it's a little bit weird the way they do that. And the other thing I said is that I don't like some of the designs. What's so cynical about that? There's, there are designs that everyone hates, every Pokemon fan has the ones they hate. What, what difference does it make? And on the subject of the two games thing, that's probably the, the thing I got the most comments about. I mean, people wouldn't shut the fuck up about why there are two games. It was something like, they release two games, so it, it encourages people to socialize and, and trade. That sounds so corporate to me. It sounds like such a fucking bullshit reason. At the end of the day, they're still selling two products that are 99% identical. And they're making a fucking Barry Mint off it because there, there are like a huge group of super passionate Pokemon fans that are going to buy both, which means they're doubling their profits, and why are they going to stop doing that? It doesn't make sense for them. I mean, you hate, I can care less, your opinion, I like it, I worry about myself, and that's how you live a long, happy life. Just focus on what you like, and if something else doesn't like it, what you like, oh well, they have the right to like something, or to not like something. One thing I do agree with you on is the part about two damn games, just so they can sell a shitload of copies. That's BS. That's... That's one of the most difficult things I've ever had to read. Forget what they're actually saying, just... All these comments, in every single one of these I've ever made. Who are these people? Who are these fucking people? They, they must be just small children that don't understand English yet. Or they're like, adults that never learn. It's really, it's really not that tough. You don't have to be fancy with your comments, I mean, I just... It, 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 just a little bit of effort to make them make sense would just be, just be fucking nice. Also, how does... Wait, worrying about myself is how you live a long, happy life. What? I hate you, asshole. Never heard that- I've never heard that one before. I've never heard that one before in my entire life. Digimon equals only good for porn. The fuck? What a weird thing to say. Charmander use kill it with fire. It's super affected. I hate everything, fainted and died. That's nice of you, wanting me to burn alive for making a video. You want me to burn? How can someone get so offended by some- I, I, I just don't get it. I just don't get how people can be so strange. That they, they felt motivated enough to press on, press on the video first, maybe watch a bit of it, probably stop a minute or two in, go to the comments section, and type out this. So what is the point? What, what does it achieve? Dude, Digimon was the shit back in 2000. I would watch it religiously after school and every weekend. I used to watch the Bionicle movie, probably back in 2000. I discovered it the other day. I rediscovered it. It's fucking terrible. I mean, it's it's awful. It, it's sickeningly bad. Just because it was in your past doesn't mean it was good, because you watched it as a kid. I'm not saying Digimon is good or bad, I've only seen like two episodes of it and I couldn't- I don't care. That jab on Digimon is probably the worst decision I've ever made in my life. I didn't realise the internet was so infatuated with it. I hate you. You know, this is an- this is another new one. I've never seen this comment before, ever. Leave! Leave what? There's no context to that. Are you saying that you're gonna leave? You saying I should leave? How am I supposed to leave? I uploaded the video. I made the video. If anything, you should be the one leaving. You're the one who actively travelled your way through the internet, through YouTube, clicked on the video, and wound up in my comment section. Why should I leave? Shouldn't you be the one who has to leave if you, you wanna- what? We get the point. You hate stuff. But if you're gonna make videos about stuff some people like, keep your opinion to yourself. I can't believe people still think this. Why do people think that? I never want to be challenged on anything. I want to sit back and only see the things that agree and support my standpoints. I don't want to be challenged on anything. What a fucking boring world that would be, huh? Ooh, everything's sunshine and rainbows. Hey, <laughs> look at this. Ooh. Shut up. It makes no sense. No one cares. You are a hater. God, uh, another original comment I've never seen before. I can't believe this. You hate everything. It's not even. It's not even positive or negative. This one. It's just. 
you hate everything. The most obvious, clear thing you possibly could have said. It's like commenting, this is a comment. You might as well just have commented that. I'm breathing air right now. I'm wearing jeans. Actually, I'm not wearing anything. I'm naked at the moment. So, that's a lie. Fuck you, feg. I know what he means, but feg. It's quite funny, isn't it? Feg. Might have to add that to the list. I think this comment wins the assaholic bitch. Frecklingly good comment of the episode. Hooray, you win an award. You fig. It's closer to fig than um what he's intending, isn't it? It's just making me think of figs. I think my nan has a fig tree. It's, it's weird. I don't like figs very much. The drawings that show on every one of your videos that resemble you are ugly as butt. Is that supposed to offend me? It's a it's a cartoon drawing. I don't care. That drawing of the lunar space tiger makes you look like a a, a lunar space tiger. And that's probably the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. So I guess that's all the comments. That was interesting. Have you noticed that with with these, the comments and the bad ones are very reflective of a certain age group, of a certain audience? Like when it's the Pokemon one, it's it's typically quite a young audience. And like with the 4chan one, it was a bit more angsty and like vapid and teenage sort of. Maybe a bit older and so on and so, so forth. So what did you think about those comments? Did you find them funny? Did you find them weird? Did you find them stupid? Which were your favourites? Which were your least favourites? Tell me in the comments below. You assaholic bitches. That's, that's still probably the greatest thing I think ever invented. Assaholic bitch. It just makes... <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. And as always... That sounded weird. Thanks for watching. All comments and ratings are very much appreciated. Make sure you check out some of my other videos. I'll see you next time. Bye.